Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a little different one. Um, believe it or not, I'm getting old and today I'm going to be telling a story. Um, I haven't told a story in a really long time and I've only done it one or two times. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be telling a story about kindergarten. Um, I thought I'd get it out of the way because I've always wanted to tell a story. Um, but I don't know. I never got around to it, and I thought this was a great time because I'm on the verge of forgetting about it completely. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do at the end, please like. Um, if you're generous enough, thank you all um, for 200 subscribers. Uh, yeah. All right, let's hop into this. Start with this video. Please go over and listen to my song. It's on my YouTube channel. It's called Dear Youngling. Tell me what you think about it, and yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so this story starts my kindergarten year. Now something I um might add before we get into the, the meat, the thicken of this story, if you will, is that we had four special ed kids in our class. And overall we had the only had I guess like twenty two kids in our class. And there's two classes. Um we had a very small school and yeah, I guess everyone, all the special needs kids get, like, sucked into the same class for some reason. And I was in that class. And it was not very fun. If I just think about it, if I was teleported back into the kindergarten um, with the same mind I have right now, it would kind of be fun because um, the one that I'm going to talk about had this certain kind of special needs. And it was, it was funny. Now, by saying funny, I don't mean, like... It was funny that they had it. Of course, it was bad. Um, this poor girl, she, um, she had this. I don't know what it was, but she sweared and was way over like exaggerating of everything. And as a kindergartner, I don't know what to think of that. The only person I've ever sweared like on occasion, like by accident, is my parents. So like very rarely. So it's it's not common that you hear um, a curse word in school. Now, of course, I wouldn't really add this fact, um, unless she, um, was using some words that, um, were not very viable in the, um, kindergarten classroom. Um, nah, she was dropping straight up F-bombs in the kindergarten class. Alright, I'm sick of calling her that girl, um, her name's Tracy, why not? So, basically, while, um, everyone else in the class was, um, learning 2 plus 2, um, Tracy was in the back of the class, uh, dropping F-bombs, screaming at her para pro, and, um, overall, being kind of messed up, not gonna lie. So, anyway, this got actually into this. So, we had a normal day at school, you know, um, we're just chilling, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty sure we went to the library. Oh, yeah, we went to the library, right? Um, entire class, we're gonna pick up some books out of the baskets, because they wouldn't let us go to the shelves. Um, so, there's these little baskets, they had all the picture books in them, and we looked through them, um, we drew a picture, um, the librarian <laughs> read a story to us, honestly, it was straight vibing, honestly, um, honestly, we're just chilling, drawing pictures, man, alright, I'm getting off track, alright, so, we didn't even know Tracy was at school, because we had took attendance, and yeah, we just checked over everyone, and made sure that everyone's there, but Tracy was not, so we we're gonna have a clean, relaxed day, seemingly. Whereas everyone starts getting their hopes up, we hear the faint screaming of Tracy down the hallway, screaming at her pair of pro swears and curses and a bunch of stuff a kindergartner shouldn't be saying. Um, and we we already know what's happening. Um, Tracy, she definitely didn't want to go to school, so she came late. And it was definitely not a good vibe because ornery, swearing kindergartner is not the best vibe um, if you're trying to have a fantastic day at the library coloring your elephant. <laughs> anyway, we s the doors open. Um, we can hear them screaming. It's Tracy voice in the parapro. Anyway, we hear him coming up the hallway, and we're kind of we're kind of scared. Not gonna lie. Um, because we can already hear there's a fight, like a full-on fight. Verbal abuse is being thrown, um, not by the parapro, but by, um, Tracy. So, we can hear them coming closer, right? She's, 
the parapet was kind of moving Tracy along, um, as she screams at her, of course, to get to the library, um, so they get in, and Tracy sees all the other students, and, um, she don't like that, she, um, hits the reality that, bam, she's back in school, and, um, I guess then Tracy didn't really like school, um, nobody else did either, um, it's kind of a fact, honestly, but, um, Tracy moves up and starts an entire, like, fist fight with the Parapro. Now, the Parapro props prop to her for not fighting back, but she didn't fight back. She kind of just took the punches and tried to, like, put her hands in her hands and try to calm her down, but that wasn't happening. Um, verbal um, slurs were being thrown, and it wasn't a good vibe, honestly. I was just coloring my pictures, being a good boy, like my mommy promised. Um... I told my mom about it, and, um, yeah, I got a, got a, got a piece of cat not done, but, um, anyway, there's this full-on, like, fist fight by this, um, little girl in the parapro, and she's duking it out, you know, get her little twig arms, just, uh, ew, what's that, alright, whatever, they were fighting, duking it out to the death, um, when the principal comes in, um, after hearing all the commotion, and, <laughs> okay, my principal, um, I'm gonna call him Principal Jones, um, elementary school principal, shout out, he's, he's a cool dude, um, he, he's like 6'9", um, yeah, he's like 6'9", I think, I don't know, well, he just picks up Tracy by the shoulders, wait, what, no, he's, he, what's that, he just picks her up, and is just power walking um to the office with the parapro and yeah that's the last i've heard of that um but i i actually um went out into the hallway and looked out and um yeah so i looked out in the hallway and tracy was like trying to bite the principal's neck or something like a vampire um and like trying to hit the parapro in the face while she was walking by principal um Yes, it was a bad vibe. Yeah, so that's pretty much the story. I have plenty more insane ones for you guys if you were interested. Um, yeah, I have plenty more about Tracy. Um, plenty more about um, other things that happen in kindergarten and throughout my entire life. So, yeah, if you see this video some good support, I will 100% do more of these. Um, and even if it doesn't, I'll probably do more. Because um, I love doing YouTube. And even if I'm not really going anywhere with it, um, it doesn't change the fact that I love doing it, and I'd love to, you know, get some support. <laughs> I don't really have anyone watching these videos, I don't know why I make them, but yeah, I love making them anyway. So, thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic day. Peace. No, no, no.